Welcome back, guys. So. Let's. Now we got some. What is this? Dawn Master's Crest. Hmm. What does that combine with? I don't know. Seems like all the weapons right now are getting this extra radiant damage. From Morning, Glor Morning Lord's Radiance. I don't know where that's coming from. Might just be like the dungeon itself. Looks like it's just a regular weapon, nothing too special with it. Is it? Oh, it lasts until a long rest. Okay. So it eventually it'll go away. Well, this Lavatar's love has been here for the whole time and hasn't gone away either. Might be a permanent buff, maybe? I don't know. Maybe just a while. Probably, maybe until only until nighttime. Oh, the smashed barricade can be smashed. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know after I'm already done with something again. Uh-oh. Did someone pass a survival check, please? Potion of animal speaking recipe. <gasps> Who go in here? Potion of animal speaking. Essence of acorn shuffle and salt of rogue morsel. So as we discovered, entirely by mistake, it turned out to be one of the greatest breakthroughs in their search for cured or uh, growing new scales. After imbibing their errant potion, I heard one of the magpipes uh, brag about a beautiful platinum scale it found. The scale itself is one of the most powerful objects I've ever seen. I suspect it come from a, the god Bahamut himself. If only I could harness its powers, I'm sure, too, my son may be covered once again, this time even in platinum. Meanwhile, here's a recipe that brought this all on. I shall take that. Record of complaints. Oh, God. A dust-covered tome of complaints to the Dawnmaster. Who allowed a pilgrim to pay for wine with a cat? <laughs> and what sort of cat even is it? One of my novices told me they saw it grow to the size of a humongous hound the moment before it attacked. The poor novice didn't uh, stop trembling for a ten day. Please, I beg of you. Can we just stop? Uh, accept? Can we just accept gold for goods like ordinary folk? And for God's sakes, call on someone to get rid of that nasty animal. Oh, it looks like chat's rolling again. They do that. Parables of Don Master. Starian, please lockpick that, please. Simple. You got this, buddy. Or you don't. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> My God. Parables of Don Master Basid. An epic looking tome that opens with an illustrated panel of Don Master Basid riding into the battle against the army of Sharon clerics. In his raised hand, he's trussled battle axe at sharp glinting and Leander's light. And then How you delicious. open that one. I'll be trying. Asterion, are you okay? Is there something wrong? Is something going on you need to talk to me about today? Try again, please. Hit 
It's Holy Blood, Don Master, Best Seed. <clears throat> the missile commemorates of founding Raysmorth Monastery. For my sins, it has only just occurred to me that I have lacked it in my record keeping of late. Then again, no, we have been busy. In our fray with the Sharon Thieves, we retrieved the blood, but one of the heretics sinned most heinously. They struck the amber, encasing his blood with a maul of pure void, damaging this most holy relic. As if knowing of this blasphemy, the exposed blood shone with an unbreakable radiance, producing the Sharon Horb to dust for all of us to sift from this now holy ground. The relic became far too unstable to carry back to Hap. Thus, we fashioned a simple chap around ourselves here, and we have encased the blood within steel to be wielded as the most righteous cudgel against those who sit in shadow. To keep it in the lustful sacrilege of thievery, our simple chapel will become a great monastery. The blood shall be secreted away with many more wiles than it was before. I find it hard to fathom that we left such an artifact in an obvious open space to begin with. Alas, slight singes away um, the mistakes of the past, leading to more fortuitous dawn indeed. So there's some holy blood in this place that's like shining. That's they built this giant temple on top of it. Alright, let's um Where have haven't we gone yet? We haven't fought the cobbles either. Did we look one thing that the map is not good at is multiple layers. Like if there's multiple places on top of each other. It doesn't do it's not the best at that. Okay, went over that way. Yes, uh, rolling a one is always a fail, and rolling a twenty is always a success. So sometimes even things that are impossible, if you roll a twenty, can some can sometimes be made possible due to sheer luck. Still alive, so that's progress. Mm -hmm. Very well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, the Blue Jays are over here. Mm. Hi, Blue Jay. Mm. Glorious! Feathers bloody everywhere, mate! <laughs> <gasps> To be home in my nest. Uh, glad I could help. I wish there was something I could give you in return. Oh, tell you what, when I escaped the eagles, I spotted something buried near that ferry dock. Might be worth a look. Something buried? Near a ferry dock? Oh, I already, I already dug that up, though. Actually, no, that was up here, wasn't it? I'm not sure. I may have already found it. We'll see. All right, what's, what's over here? Anything of use? Nothing. Can I attack that wall at all? Just a t Oh, there is something behind it, though. How do we get in there, though? Hmm. Yeah, there's... Wait, wait, wait. That's climbable. So we get there... Through the broken window and out of the chapel. Okay, well now I know where more treasure is. Ooh, there's stuff over here. 
How do we get over there? This place is like so meaty. There's so much stuff to find and places to go. Jump over there. I think you're the only one that can make that jump. Except for Shadowheart, apparently. What's in here? Skeleton. Painted chest. Maybe we won't need them. What's in there? Holy Lance Helm. Creatures who miss their attack rolls against the wearer must make a dexterity saving throw or take radiant damage. Ooh. Ooh. I do not do that other thing, so I'm going to put that on. Doesn't look quite as cool, but it is nice. People miss against me all the time. That's just some flat out extra damage. What a nice uh, helmet. Especially for Dan the Paladin. Jump over there. Potion. Um. And jump over there. You can die equipment, right? Yep. Doesn't make it any more pretty if it starts with an ugly model. It'll be, it could be red and ugly. Instead of just ugly, ugly. Now, how am I supposed to get, what's the legit way to get over here? You can jump there. She can't make that jump, probably. Nope. Uh, ma'am? What's next, I wonder? You need to find a way. <laughs> On I go. Can you find a way back? Uh, jump distance is primarily strength. There are some spells and items that can make you jump further as well. I don't know how you're gonna get back down. <laughs> Maybe that's 18 damage. 31. Um. Move Gale's Gale in the way. With magic, he might be. Hmm. Got to press on. Sometimes you can jump down to a spot, but you can't jump back to a spot very easily. Uh, Shadowheart, I think you live there now. Sorry. This is now where you live. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. No, they thought about the short rest thing. She'll still be over there. Let's get on with it. They thought of that. Got to keep moving. Unfortunately. Well, um, I think the easiest thing is just for you to just jump. Eee! You're fine. There you go. And well, in it. You're fine. You, you're great. You're great. Oh, she broke one leg. She's got another. That might be worth a look. Ooh, treasure. How do they bury... Bury treasure? Well... I guess it's kind of on the rock there. <gasps> Potion of greater healing. I like that. Now let's go up this way. It's amazing how loot dense these places are. 
Potions, silver ingot, more gold. I love just exploring every nook and getting every Careful, last piece of loot. It's so awesome. Touch. Okay, guidance. One. No. Good job, Asterion. You didn't fail. Scroll of Revify. Ooh. Is that blood. No. Another no. resurrection scroll. I have to keep going. So now we can res people a little bit more. Time to get going. Ah, healing. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. I've been so busy finding all this beautiful loot hidden all over this place. There's probably a place I'm supposed to be going. Seems simple enough. Try to let's maybe go back down. Yeah, I think we need to go through those big doors downstairs. So let's go ahead and go Whoop. back on the ground floor. Let's double check where the bluebird told me there was treasure, just to make sure I didn't find it already. Yeah, definitely, it's right there. I'm pretty sure this is the same treasure. Unless there's a second one. So he told me about treasure I'd already found earlier. Ah, the joys of being a loot goblin. You know, find the loot before you were supposed to know about it. Wait a minute, what's over here? definitely be attacked. Uh, Gale. Oh, I have the magic touch. Use a little fire. <laughs> I'm going to organize my spells. It's been uh, driving me nuts for the longest time. Cantrips on the left. <laughs> then level one spells. <laughs> then our level two spells. Shocking Grass, that's also a cantrip, I think. Level two spills, Flame Spear, slow, and our ability, perfect. And then, we really do not need this thing over here. <laughs> we'll put that. Way over there to remind us not to ever click on that, because that's really bad. I 
Ah, fine, I'll leave it there. Not a big deal. Ooh, cast your mage armor. Boom. Alright. Never a dull moment. Did we go in there before? Yeah. That's where we fought the one things. Alright, let's go back to the double doors. Let me organize my spells over here, too, because I have a lot of them. Quizzer's Might, Divine Sense, Lay on Hands. Take that off of there. We'll leave it up on the top there. For protection. Then our Smite Spells. Then level 2 Smite Spells. Divine Smite. Heroism, Protection, Abjure Enemies. Let's put our bonus actions over here. So they're not with our spell slots. Level 1. Bane, Hunter's Mark, Pal Duel, Searing Smite, Wrathful Smite, Compelled Duel. Branding Smite. Have you broken your oath? No. I've been a very good Not wizard. Uh, paladin. Paladin. Now. Very good paladin. Looking ahead. Very righteous and pure. Don't waste the step. So far, I haven't even accidentally broken my oath yet. I haven't even had to save, uh, reload my oath. Like, I just have not broken it yet. So I am an expert role player. <laughs> no one stopped me yet. All right, let's save here for Gith Yankee. Okay, how to spell? It. I think it's Gith Yankee. Maybe might be Geth Yankee. What a day. <sighs> no time to rest. That place is locked to us. Predilothander. Glory to you, bringer of the dawn. My wife and I have been trying to see for nearly two years. No luck. We've long been following your blessed creed and visit Rosemorth every day to worship your altar. Please, Lord. I know you've given a lot already, but if you hear our prayer, grant us one wish, you will find us in your service tenfold. This is all that now stands between ourselves and everlasting joy. We have faith in you, Lathander, and grateful for the blessings of your light. Breathe deep and move. Well, yeah, it looks like the window's open over here. Jump in there. Uh oh. What do you mean, too, too drunk? It's not possible. <laughs> Cobble. <laughs> oh, the cobbles are super drunk in here. <laughs> I did not expect the cobble to have a deep voice like that. That's impressive. So they're just uh, getting drunk. Let's save. You guys cool or? Y'all look very, very drunk. Uh oh. What? No, I wasn't. 
The enemy is surprised, so we get a full round to attack them. Attack! That is a lot of fire wine. What if we do a little bit of firebolt? Boom! Wait, he was in the barrel? Uh oh, move back. They got pack tactics, which is bad. That cobalt reeks of spirits. Fire could be explosive. Oh no. Fire wine belly. Disadvantage crit. Uh, if drunk, if he is killed with a fire, he will explode. Oh no. If we use fire, um. So let's not use fire. We will instead use radiant damage! <laughs> Time to push my luck again. It is today that evil will die. Cobbles are extremely evil creatures. They're like K-pop stands, but for dragons. Run, Mr. Scout. Ow! Concentration check. Saved. Good. Um, who's next? You? Go ahead and bonus action. Dash. Let's get over here. And slice. <laughs> Woo. Okay, don't use fire, which is bad because we have so much of it. Chat, I, I want to run a thought experiment. No. I should probably not use fire. That would be bad. Hmm. I'll light him on fire though a little bit, just a little. Knock him down. Spirit Guardians doing Spirit Guardians things. Let's move over here next to these fellas and get them in the Spirit Guardians. And we shall... Sacred Flame. Divine Fire is different from regular fire. Don't worry. Nothing important is ever easy. Aha! Step. 
get up here and attack. Take that, cobble. Woohoo! <laughs> Next turn, you're dead. Get a bonus attack. Chomp. And slice. Got him. Good job. I guess we'll head back down this way. Rough tempest I will raise. Um, let's see. I don't really need to waste anything. Let's do a ray of frost. You miss. Good job. Good job. Run into him. <laughs> 20 radiant damage. Nice. By the way, if you guys have a cleric in your party, please use guardian spirits. It is such a good spell. It is an amazing spell. So much for peace. Does so much damage. Almost nothing is resistant to Radiant. It's just amazing AoE. And has a, a check that most enemies fail, which is great. It's especially useful when you fight like shades. Shades are nasty, and they're weak to radiant damage, and resistant to everything else. Got him! Cobbles have been smited. Cobbled scout. Oh wait, those are d oh, up here. Combo looter, ceremonial mace. If I don't get my beauty sleep soon, I may just. Cobble, cobbles can write. Collection of drawings, some cruder than others. Most of them feature cobbles in varied degrees of nakedness, performing sexual acts on themselves, <laughs> some on each other. The final page, however, feature more varied subject, a soaring red dragon, a Yankee of various ages, and surprisingly detailed depictions of wine bottles. Oh! The Githyanki have a dragon, and cobbles are all about dragons. Cobbles are one of those creatures that, even though they're low level, if you get them in enough numbers, they are extremely deadly because they all have pack tactics. And they can decimate your party if they all get some really good crits going on. Break. How much is that barrel worth? A penny. Never mind then. Winery records. One bottle, one pan, three bottles, gold donation, two bottles, one cat, <laughs> ten bottles, one large donation, five bottles, donation of herbs. A cat, huh? Shadowheart, give me some... Do you not have the light cantrip anymore? Oops. Forgot to get it. Oh well. It happens. You have my attention. That sound is very disturbing. Stop it! And these things have stayed interesting. <laughs> That's the sound of me uh, playing 
um, Starfield next month. Gonna get every bit of that game too. You know, our, we, us RPG gamers, guys, we're spoiled right now. We get to play this and then play Starfield right after. Just absolutely spoiled. Go ahead and split. Wait a minute. He's in that barrel, isn't he? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. He's in the barrel. What happens if I go back to camp with him in the barrel? I drop the barrel here. Then I attack it. <laughs> Can't fight. <laughs> Let's get going. Can't give up now. I didn't. I was wondering if you could do it, and you can. Mind if I do? Do I have my ball? I don't. But there's one right here. Throw the ball. If not over, then through. Hope you're keeping well, friend. I am, doggy. You want some pets? Uh, goodbye. So remember, if you take the ball in your inventory chat and you throw it, Out that ball. What's hiding here? Hmm. Maybe it's only one specific ball. My faith will guide me. Maybe it's this ball. Still breathing, despite everything. There you go. Aha. Uh -huh. So there's one ball that if you throw it, he will fetch it. It's a good boy. At the ready. So make sure you play fetch with the dog. He will give you a, a he'll, there'll be a cutscene with him where he will give you a ball. That's the ball that you um, can throw around for him. Put uh, the ball in here to remember to remind us which one it is. What's inside? Cracked? Oh, cracked support beam. Oh, we can knock down the support beams on those people. Is there another one in here? Might be useful. Nope. Mm. 
Listen, is there someone in there? Yes. There's a cobbled in here. Oops, I, I was gonna do something else. Are there any more barrels with cobbles in them? Swift as my feet can carry me. Here's a barrel here. <clears throat> yep, there's one in there. I'm gonna pick this up. And sort by type. I got too many plate armors on. There's another one in here. Looks like there's a... That's just a wooden barrel. Mr. Cobbled! Goodbye! <laughs> he dead. Wait a minute. There's some place... Even lower down there. Wait a minute. I must have missed something. Looks like no XP for doing that, unfortunately. We'll take this other one. Put him in camp. All right, don't open that. That's our cobble pet. He's going to live in there for now on. Not very holy of your paladin, Dan. It was because cobbles are extremely evil. They are about as cha chaotic evil as it gets when it comes to creatures. They are evil, 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 evil. And our our vent our oath our paladin oath is uh, fight the greater evil, exerting your wisdom, identify the higher morality in any given instance, and fight for it. No mercy for the wicked. Chasten those who dole out their villainy by wiping their blight from the world forever. So, one of my tenets is I must wipe out wickedness with a vengeance. With a vengeance. So, I just noticed that there is a tunnel that goes down here. A secret passage, it looks like. There is... I was. Good job they beat the subversion out of you. Right, Garath. My life is infinitely better here watching this back door. I'm not letting you bring me down. The Kithrak will appreciate me eventually. It's another temple. Alright, let's go here back the other way. Go. I'm curious what was up with the cobbles. So that's the next area, so we don't go there just yet. Do 
You end up stealing the egg. Not yet. We haven't even seen the egg yet. We want to talk to the Gekanki and try to get them to give us an egg voluntarily. Dan, this is so great. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I feel very overwhelmed playing uh, Baldur's Gate 3. Well, uh, the good part about it is there's always descriptions. In battle, you can always highlight an enemy, examine them, learn about their resistances, their weaknesses, their abilities, just by hovering. You have all the time in the world to read everything and learn everything. Hover over your spells, find out what they do. Uh, press T to hover over additional stuff to learn what each thing means. So they got like lots and lots of stuff here. Just take your time, read everything. And it's it's not as hard as it seems. It's just there's a lot of little things to learn. And none of them are particularly all that difficult to understand. Just there's a lot of things. But they give you all the time in the world because it's turn-based combat. What's in you learn as you go. Where does this go? This goes back out this way. Listen. <laughs> nope, none. Does game have day and night cycles? Um, I don't think so. But there are some areas that are very bright, some areas that are very dark. It's over here. Jump. Well, this just goes back to the other way we came before. Is there some way Past those doors? We're trying to get in the temple, right? We went in there. We're trying to get, I think, down inside there. That's behind the doors, right? Yeah. So is there some way down over here into the temple? Yeah, those big doors are locked and they're locked with an impossible lock, which means I have to have the key. Or find a switch or something like that. could jump, but it would take all my health with me. Hmm. You can't reach that door. Where is that door from? T-pose. <laughs> I just noticed that. Can you move over there? That might work. T. <laughs> well, we got to get our entire party over here. I hope this ends well. All right, let's, let's go in here and down, maybe. Okay, jump in there. All right, let's head downward. Stand your ground! Keep them busy! The thunder, forgive me. We have to fire the lance. 
What? What just happened? Huh. Talking statues are never a good sign. Can you do the arcana check? A magic mouth spell. So that voice must be from someone long deceased. All right. What now? Magic mouth? Hmm. Need to find a way. Stand your ground! Keep them busy! Defender, forgive me. We have to fire the lance. Have to fire the lance? What's in there? Okay, let's see. Ooh, that's a beautiful plate. How much is that worth? One penny. I think this is the back side. Inventory of offerings. Inventory of food offerings brought to monastery and redistribution to the alms seekers. Anything in there? Anything of use? Real Gith Yankee crash. Few outsiders learn the secrets of such places. Fewer still live to share their observations. A keen eye and a quiet tongue may serve us well here. Uh, let's go back. We gotta get Lazel. We'll put uh, Asterion back Very again. Well. Honestly, I don't love walking into a den of killer gith warriors. Especially not with the you-know-what still wriggling in our heads. The gith probably think decapitation is a perfectly reasonable cure. Well, how about you stay in the camp then? Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I guess it sounds awful. You stay here and I'll take, uh... Lizelle with me. How is Asterion getting sneak attacks right off at the bat in combat? Uh, there are two this ways to trigger sneak attacks. Enlightening. My survival. It is done. There are two ways into. Um, the first way is to. Is that your party member just needs to be standing next to an enemy in order for him to get a sneak attack, either with ranged or melee. The second one is if you have, I believe, your you have advantage on the roll. So if if you're if an enemy is unaware of your presence, no, then you have advantage on the roll. This. So as long as you have advantage, or and I think you trigger your, your sneak attack. You've made a great mistake. Attack again. Boom. So. A strategy is to save your sneak attack. Um, you get only one attack, but you can if you have a light weapon on your offhand and a light hit weapon in your main hand, you can make a bonus action attack. So sometimes it's better to attack, and then if you don't crit, wait, and then do your offhand attack. And if that one crits, do the sneak attack there. Because whenever you crit, you get to double all dice rolls for that attack. And sneak attack does the same damage no matter what weapon it does. And then if you crit, you get to double the sneak attack damage. So it's pretty nice. Let's see what that skeleton is over there. A bone. Didn't understand a word of it. I'll explain the next battle so you guys can understand. It's easier to show you versus just say it. So, a critical strike means that you get to double all damage dice as part of that attack. Divine Smite and Sneak Attack are considered part of the attack. Therefore, you get to double the damage of both of those whenever you crit. 
a paladin is if a paladin crits t on both of his attacks he can divine smite on both of them and double the divine smite damage in addition to the weapon damage to do like massive boss chunk damage that's why paladins are some of the best boss killers because they can wait to divine smite until after the attack hits knowing if it's a crit or not then they can choose to apply divine smite after a crit since you only get so many slots it's best to save it for um, those moments the twitch extension broke at the moment probably Basically, Larian did not expect as many people to be streaming and playing this game as they have been. They had almost, they had over 800,000 people playing the game on just Steam alone. And then it was like, there's thousands of people streaming it and using the Twitch distinctions and using it on each channel that's streaming it. So it's like, it just overloaded their, uh, their expectations. Lever. Now that door is open. What's in there? His holy blood. Damn it, I need a stereo to get <laughs> the lockpick. And there's a scroll in there too. Damn. <laughs> I swear, I can't leave Asterion behind for more than a couple minutes before I run into something you, I need him for. Hmm. Log of visitors to Raysmorth Monastery. List of name document of visitors came to the monastery in Pegamins year by year, ending on the year the monastery fell. The oh. blood of Lathander spilled in holy battle with Samaster. Immortalized here for all to worship. So they kept the blood of Lathander here. No wonder it was looted. Yeah, they have XP share in the game, which is great. So that way you don't have to worry about um, someone falling behind. Because in some games, if a party member falls four levels behind, you'll never use them ever again, no matter what. So that's a great little change. An account of the establishment of the crash. Stone disc of Githyanki rune. She probably can read it to us. Maybe not. Many supplies found. Local area good for hunting. More. Gramishka infestation, but that will be no trouble. And indeed will be useful for deterring unwanted visitors. Uh... Raymorn Monastery, it's called, but it seems the monks had plenty of hidden, plenty hidden away beneath the surface. Lots of valuable goods to be found underground. Can be traded off after best bits are shipped back. Treasure room would prove a fitting location for the establishment of military intelligence office. Seems to already have good defenses. To, uh, Station Inquisitor Wawakzu, uh, he'll be able to keep Theronzin under his thumb. Going to pick that up. Something over there. Yeah, they released new drivers for NVIDIA for this game yesterday, if you guys haven't updated. And it does increase the frames quite a bit if you're having troubles. Wooden chest, lost candle, and a silver necklace. Sucks that the Yankee just came up and just murdered all the priests here. Just some monks hanging out, doing monk stuff, and then they're... Slaughtered by Githyanki. I don't think I can get over there. Not enough space. Nope. That's the wine room. We've been there already. Okay. Uh, sometimes in vases you'll find a little bit of gold or a little bit of food. It's nothing crazy, but it's nice to get little bits of stuff. Skeleton. Get inventory of takings. That's the good Yankee blade if ever I saw one. The stone disc has Githyanki runes carved into it. Below them is a drawn translation into common tongue. Inventory 
of items taken by the Kikinki from the Lothandrid monks upon the initial takeover of the monastery and subsequent shipment of the valuables back to Penarth. Get the Yankee Longsword. Yankee Longsword is... Lysel, do you want that? It is kind of a sword of your people. Nope. It's not as good, though. One thing I do wish is that the game had a quick party swap option because when you need to go back to camp and swap people, you got to talk to one person, go through a couple dialogue prompts, then go find the other person and talk to, go through another couple dialogue prompts. It need to be like a fast swap in feature where you can just go in and do do do. Also, it'd be nice to access someone's inventory without having to have them in your party as well. Lots of little UI things that could be improved over time. Apply your smite spell. Potion of mind reading in there too. Medium toughness. Which way to the nearest library? What familiar would you like? Raven? That can blind enemies with its beak. Seem like a raven person. There you go. It's got one HP. Attack creature and blind it. Oh god. Can't give up now. Well, we'll come back and loot those later. I want to swap out party members again. All right, Lizelle, let's go down this way. And have you talk to your people. Oh, the river, it's beautiful. Oh, this game is just so beautiful everywhere. Did not Vlacketh's command to welcome her faithful? I expected no visitors faithful or otherwise. Why have you come? Allow Lazel to answer. We seek the Sathisk. Show me the way. You are infected. A gate thrall is something to eradicate, not reason with. The faithful may be purified. This is Vlacketh's protocol. Fine. Let the Gustil carry out your fate. Report to the infirmary at once. And step carefully. Crescia like watches you. Well, she got us in. Hi there. I would be more concerned than excited. Ooh, who's that? Oh, some lady's dead. They killed a tiefling. Aww. Chat, there are so there is so much loot down here though. Hello there. They're making us join the patrol soon. The search must be a little lag in this area, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, save. Twenty well. sure I turned off the I'll do less that's turned itself off that's probably why
Oh, there we go. Beautiful. What did Mr. T say after throwing five ten dollar bills on the diving off the diving board? I fitted the pool. Who the hell is that? She's beautiful. I'll give it a shot. This imposing portrait depicts a powerful Gith Yankee warrior. Undeniably regal in her mien. Blacketh herself. She is both the sun that blinds us and the void that contains us. Praise be. In the corner of the painting is a small symbol you can't quite place. Draw a new face onto the portrait. <laughs> Inspect the symbol more closely. Do you remember seeing this symbol in a book about the denizens of the astral plane? It appears to be a depiction of a comet. Comet? This Githyanki looks different from the others you've seen here. The way her stark white skin stretches over her sharp features gives her a distinctly otherworldly aspect. Okay, we're just gonna think about this, not actually do it. Let's draw a new face onto the portrait. No! I wanna see it! <laughs> Lizelle is gonna be real pissed with me. This Githyanki looks different from the others you've seen here. <laughs> this Githyanki looks different from the others you've seen here. Yes! Crack! <laughs> Why do it look so <laughs> take a moment to fully appreciate your masterpiece? <laughs> she certainly looks a little less regal now. A wretched display. I thought you better than such juvenile antics. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I love Larian. Killex, thank you for the resub. So just here to resub. I've been playing Baldur's Gate 3. This gift nice sell. Thank you very much. From the, other the Paladin would not One do day that. I'll catch a break. He would not do that. He was just kidding. Just thinking about it. Oh, hatchery. Steal against Yankee. Learn of an egg being kept in the hatchery, guarded by a caretaker or two guards. Must be some way to steal it. Why is there so few? I have something to ask. Is Stick are permitted to view the birthing pools now? These are strange times. Step carefully while here. Our hatchery is protected by lethal safeguards. I do not wish to pick your remains from them. I thought a hatchery would have more eggs. Most are hatched. Only one remains. Monitored by Vash Koku, the caretaker of our young. You may speak to the Vash if you wish, but stay away from the egg. There will be no second warning. How do I get to him? Ah. 
Oh, that's acid. Ooh. I just want to talk to that guy. Just Dear God. I tell Kithrak Therizin that my position has not changed. The egg requires more time. Furthermore... Oh, hello. Oh. I was not expecting an istic. What brings you to my hatchery? Heard you're waiting for one last egg to hatch. Most caretakers would not give the child its fair chance. But I shall. There could be greatness in that shell. You note that the hope in his voice is tinged with weariness. It's the voice of a man who's fought the inevitable for a long time. Why do you care much about one dud egg? Inspiration, please. Oh, my God. Jesus. What the? Can I just roll? These rolls. Like, come on. Everyone died on those traps anyways. I need to find a better way over to him without dying. Trap. Just as I expected. All right. Um. I will go by myself. You guys stay there. Be cautious. This place is very dangerous. Whee! <laughs> Subscribers, I need your help. I need you guys to roll. If you guys could roll for me, that'd be great. You can tell Kithrak Therizin that my position has not changed. The egg requires more time. Furthermore... Bless the oh. dice chat. Thank you. I was not expecting an istic. What brings you to my hatchery? You're an istic. Most caretaker now leave. Wait, what? I don't have time to parent you as well. What do you want now? You're being very protective of this egg. Why? It's taking a little longer than expected to hatch. The conditions must not be disturbed if it is to have a fighting chance. Most caretakers would not give the child its fair chance, but I shall. There could be greatness in that shell. You note that the hope in his voice is tinged with weariness. It's the voice of a man who's fought the inevitable for a long time. Why do you care so much about one dud egg? Crack! Better. Not all that arrive late are weak. I created this entire hatchery, despite being the last of my clutch to hatch. They almost drowned me in the hatching pool. If it wasn't for the Vash of my clutch. This one deserves the same chance. Let me help. I can take it somewhere safe. Yes! <laughs> you! What do you know about Gith Yankee child rearing? Still, the captain's due for an inspection any day now. And if she sees it here. Tell me, what will you do with it if I entrust it to you? I'll make the best omelet you've ever tasted.
I'll find another crash. One that's more forgiving. Do you think the Sword Coast is littered with crashes? That you found this one was unlikely enough. But you've a spirit about you that's quite inspiring. Perhaps even equal to the challenge. I can no longer ignore that Kithrak Thurizen's patience has its limits. Very well. Here. Take these. They will aid your approach to the egg. We got permission to take the egg. We don't have to steal it. To <laughs> Expert role player. Varsh Koku's boots. Acid surfaces don't affect you, and you're resistant to acid damage. Ooh. Very nice. Okay, let's save. Plus one to RP. God, it smells awful in here. Let's go back down the ladder, and we'll go grab the egg. Paladin is very wise and very full of RP. Wee. Wee. Get the Yankee egg. A large green egg with an uneven shell. You can see a vague outline of something within it. Pick it up gingerly and stow it in your pack. Strange gas. Uh oh. Whee! Whee! Barrel, barrel, crate. Nothing crazy in here. Be wary. This place is trapped. Boom, and... Perfect. Now we got our egg. We didn't have to steal it. Take those random outfits that are there. I figure there's probably a way to get the uh, it naturally. Without having to convince him. Hello. But look, I don't have time to talk to you, Istic. This place isn't going to clean itself. Maybe if you had a Roomba, it might. Infirmary. What the hell are they doing with Mage Hand? Not now, Kachucky. We're busy. What's in the chest? It's making an awful noise. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Whatever it is, I think you should stop. It's clearly not having a good time. Mm, no. Mm, yes. Stop it. Let the thing out. Nah, we're having fun. Children. Cease this impudence at once. For I am the Paladin. Okay, chat, roll two Tifas. We have advantage. What? What happened? Whoa, 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 whoa. It like super sped up. What happened? Then we're in the middle of battle. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, we're just... Nah, we're having fun. What is that? What? 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 I can't tell what happened. Succeeded in intimidation check. Oh. Uh... 
It like sped up, but I don't. Now they're. Oh, there was a Gramishka, and it they killed it. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. That was weird. It just sort of skipped all the dialogue and stuff, but that's what happened. Is the thing got out, and then a good night's sleep would do me wonders. Okay, I gotta run to the potty, guys.